MovieWeb.com. About this film, I've read quite a bit about it, and some of the stuff I've seen is that they're comparing it to the Frankenstein movie that came out in the 30s, and I'm wondering if you agree with that, and if you sort of look at that film as the template. No, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that that's the... F I've, I've had... 38 Q&As with an average of 20 questions per Q&A, so that's 760 questions, and no one has said that to me. I mean, I, to me, that would be about as likely as uh, comparing it to Lulu. Lulu. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, or Pabst Lulu. You know, have you ever seen that? I don't know if I have or not. I'm thinking of a different no, Paps Lulu, Paps, you know, silent film, great. Um, um, or, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, what I don't think it's like anything ever made. First of all, stylistically, it's like no film I've ever seen. Um, I'm talking about Tyson, not Lulu. Yeah. And secondly, he is like no other person. Um, I think going in, people have the idea that they're going to see Godzilla because not all people, but there are people who have had an idea of him as the person who bit Holyfield's ears and who was convicted of rape and who uh, is capable of flipping out uh, because somebody says something he doesn't like. So there is this notion of him as a kind of psychotic, dangerous monster. But um, those are the people who are most shocked by the movie because what eventually takes place is that they see he's a very human kind of moving character and when I was editing the movie I, I suspected that might happen I certainly didn't intend for it to do but I thought this is an interesting effect he's having at least on me and the, what I'm projecting so I played a game uh, I approached women with the proposal of a hundred dollars come in, do you like boxing do you like Mike Tyson do you want to see a movie about Mike Tyson if I got three no's I said okay come to the editing room. If you don't like the movie and you want to leave after five minutes, I'll give you $100 for having come. If you do like the movie and you want to watch the whole movie, I'm not giving you anything, but I want to know what you thought about it after it's over. And 35 out of 35 stayed, didn't take the $100. I often wondered, what do they have taken? 1000 if I'm offering 1000 But they turned down 100 They stayed. And then all of them at the end were overwhelmed. Some of them were in tears. Some, and didn't believe it. Couldn't imagine what had happened to get them emotionally invested in Mike Tyson. And the trick, of course, will be to get to those people to come to see it. Because not everybody, we can't run an ad that says, you'll be given $100 if you want to leave the theater after five minutes. Um, that, you'd be losing money on every admission. But yeah, right, yeah, right, and leave no matter what. So it's not going to be a pliable marketing tool. But the interesting thing would be to actually um, um, find a way, I mean, and I don't know that there is one, a surefire way of enticing people to come knowing they're going to have this experience that totally alters their original perception, which I think is something people like to get in movies. People like to be surprised. But you can't just say, come and be surprised, because, you know, how do I know you? What do you, how do I know you're telling me the truth? But I think the word of mouth, which is starting to, to generate that, um, might 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 have that effect. Now, personally, what sort of satisfaction did you get out of s humanizing this person, who is sort of seen as a monster by a lot of people, and but he's a friend of yours. I'm wondering what you sort of took away from this. Experience. Well, I knew he was this way, and I and I and I didn't I didn't I wasn't doing it as a mission to try to get other people to see what I did. I I I I mean that would not have been a sufficient motive to make a movie just to to advocate the humanity of someone I knew it was human and disabused people who looked at him another way of their notion. What I wanted to do was take someone I consider to be fascinating, complex, um, and a tragic figure in many ways, present him as who he is, and let him affect the audience in any way it affects them. I mean, I'm always making movies about a central character whose dimensions are potentially, at least to me, fascinating. So whether it's Axel Fried in The Gambler, Jimmy Angelelli in Fingers, Alan in Harvard Man, um, the Nastasia Kinski's character, Elizabeth Carlson in Exposed, Nev Campbell's character in When Will I Be Loved, it's taking a f central character and saying, I find this person fascinating. 
let's see what you think. And that's what this is, except that Mike Tyson is actually a real life character, and he's also a heightened real life character who's probably one of the most famous people in the world and has been one of the most controversial figures in the world for the last 50 years. Or during the last 50 years, he, he didn't really hit the, hit the world until about uh, 25 years ago.